Good evening, everybody. Welcome to my carnivore diet, day 53 today, I believe. Um, what's the news for today? So today was my strictest day yet. Um, as you know, I've been feeling a bit stuck, and really the only way I know to get past that is to just go a bit more strict and see if I've just been being a little bit too liberal. I think everybody knows I've talked pretty openly about the fact that I've had decaf coffee or I've had decaf tea or a bit of milk. So I've had quite a lot of milk and quite a lot, but I've had milk and coffees and all that sort of stuff. And I thought, okay, well, maybe the way to do that is just to tighten down on the diet altogether because I have been a little bit soft. So today was my strictest day so far. I got up this morning. I just had water. I didn't have anything else. I did have a peppermint tea around lunchtime, but I've only had, I've had a few, well, I've had eggs to eat today. I've had some pepperoni that I mixed in when I cooked the eggs. I've had some beef mints. So I've had a couple of burgers of beef mints, and I went to a networking event tonight, and luckily they had some peppermint tea, so I had another thing of peppermint tea, but I've had literally had zero, pretty much zero carbs. I think I've had about eight grams of carbs today. And so, yeah, so that's been pretty good. My water bottle has pretty much a little bit of advertising for Riverside. My water bottle has been my friend today. It's, um, it's not been as bad as I thought it might be. I think really the biggest problem is getting over the habit. And I talked about this a little bit in the comments, but it's particularly coffee and things. It's, it becomes a ritual that you do every day. So I get up in the morning. I, I have the same routine every day. I get up in the morning, go to the bathroom, go downstairs make a cup of coffee, come upstairs, weigh myself, get in the shower, start to get ready, and my son's got to get up, and we've got to get the day moving. And, But it's that getting up and having that coffee and the warm drink in the morning, particularly if you live in somewhere that it's freezing cold. Like this morning, it was raining and cold, and it was, it was I think, 3 degrees Celsius outside, which is about 35 degrees in old money. And raining and just wet and miserable, and it's just, you just want a warm drink. So trying to retrain myself to not have the coffee and not be really upset about it is going to be difficult, but, but I do think it's more the ritual. It's not the caffeine anymore. I've been on decaf for a while now, and I haven't had any caffeinated tea either, but I don't know if it's it's other stuff that may be coming along with that, even having a tiny bit of sugar or whatever. So I've just decided I'm just going to cut them out for a week or so and sort of see what happens. I worked from home today, so I didn't get too many steps in. And a fact, in fact, it was appalling. Which is another thing. I don't, I don't understand how people who used to go to work every day, you get up in the morning... You know, you have to get ready, you get out of the house, you go to the train station, you get on the train, you go to London, you walk to your office, you walk around in the office, you walk around to go to lunch, you know, you might go get a coffee during the day, so you're walking around to go and do that, and you're up and about, and then you have to walk back to the train, and you've got to mess around with all that, and then you've got to get home. Just living and, and going to work, you're probably five or 6,000 steps on just a normal daily basis, and then... Now, after COVID and everybody's like, oh, yes, I can work from home. Now you're getting, what, a thousand steps a day at the, at the most? I don't understand how that can be healthy. And it's, it's, driv it's driven me crazy today. I mean, I was really glad to get out of the house this evening just to go to the, to the networking event. But again, it was very few steps because I actually walked out of the house, took about 15 steps to the car, rode in the car to the other end, took about, I don't know, let's call it 50 steps till I, I got inside and then sat down for the networking thing and then basically sat down. Like, it just, I, I didn't do a lot of movement. 
And I don't understand how people who work from home really get exercise and how that impacts their how that impacts their weight and their health. Not not only just their weight, but it's your health as well, because you're now not even, you know, your heart's not getting that cardio exercise that it was getting before. And I, I don't know. I don't know if anybody knows what the impact of, of this is going to be and if there's going to be some sort of weird health, you know, problems that, that maybe all these people who've been working at home for ages. And I, I say these people like it's someone else because I don't work from home. I still get up. I still go to an office most days. The only days now that I work from home is if I have a podcast recording because I've set my studio up. And it's a much quieter environment for me in, to record. So I, I still go in. I enjoy going in. I like getting up and I like getting the steps. If I just go in on a normal day to the office, I'm like 4,000 steps already, at least. So anyway, I was low on steps today. And I'm, I'm feeling itchy about it. Um, but yeah, no, we'll, so we'll see. I'm going to try and be super strict on the diet for the next few days and sort of see what happens. I know I haven't been the most strict so far. I've had a lot of cheese. I've had peanuts. I've had milk. I've had sugar. Little teeny bits, but maybe that's too much. So I'm going to try and see if I can sort of kick things back in again. I, I don't know if I can or not, but we'll see. So uh, that said macros for today pretty much the same as yesterday really a almost the same except for many fewer steps so weight was basically the same sleep was a little bit better i got seven hours of sleep last night but only sort of 1400 steps today and 1200 1300 calories so you know again not great didn't eat a lot but i didn't do anything so i wasn't hungry and i didn't really feel like eating so We'll see how that pans out, but yeah. Anyway, those are a few thoughts for today. Um, I still need to come back to the film that I mentioned the other night, and I just realized that that I didn't, I haven't come back to that yet. So maybe I'll try and think about that tomorrow and come back to with something to think about then. But for now, I'm gonna let you go because it's already eleven o'clock in the evening, and I still have to finish and check my podcast to make sure it's ready to go out tomorrow. So, if you're interested in the podcast, it's Creatives with AI, and we're on all major platforms. And I'm talking to this week uh, Father Joe Evans about ethics and morals and in its relation to AI. So, quite an interesting conversation, a little bit different than normal. Um, but anyway, other than that. I will see you tomorrow. So have a good evening. If you haven't subscribed, please hit the subscribe button, all that sort of nonsense that you know about. And yeah, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.